so right now it's time for us to paginate our blog in a sense so i'm going to give you an example so right now we want to have several pages we want to have like page one page two page three we don't want to list all our blog posts on this page we want to simply want, want to session them on different pages you get so from what we have here so okay where are we we here now so we're going to have we're going to make sure we have three blocks per page right so that's what we want to achieve if you see from here now, if I refresh the page, you can see we are listing out all our blogs here. So we don't want to do that. We want to simply list three blogs per page. So right now, I'm going to show you how to paginate this blog list view. Where is it again? Okay, here's the blog list view. I'm going to take it to the top. So I'm going to paste it, uh, yeah, let it be here. So I want to show you how we can paginate it, whereby we're going to have three blog articles per page because we are going to be doing, because we, we need this on the front end. We can't list all the old blogs on one page. That's not the right, not the right way. So we're going to say from, from rest underscore framework, that's pagination, imports. So right now we have to import page we have to import page number pagination from rest framework dot pagination so i'm going to create a pagination class for only this function right so i'm going to save i'm going to say class blog pagination let me just say blog list pagination right now let me just pass in this page number pagination into it and then over here i'll say page underscore size should be equal to three all right three sorry the three is meant to be it's not a string yeah three so we've got that already that's perfect so right now back to our blog now over here we're gonna just come over here and say paginator should be equal to blog list pagination right we're gonna put in the parentheses there yeah and then we're gonna say paginated blog. This is another. This can be called whatever name you like. You can give this guys whatever name you like. You understand? So I'm calling my paginator. I'm calling this paginated blog should be equal to paginator. Right? Dot paginate query sets. Yeah, yeah, is it? And then we are gonna pass in the blogs. We're gonna pass in the request again. You understand? And then we're gonna simply say serializer should be equal to I'm going to say block serializer. Okay, we already have our serializer below. Let me just clear up these guys. So we're going to say we're going to say our serializer is going to be equal to block serializer. We're going to pass in the paginated blog. Is it called paginated blogs? That's better. We we'll pass it here, and we'll say many should be true. So right now we're going to return something. We're going to say instead of returning a instead of returning a response, we're going to just say paginator dot get paginated response. So previously we had to return a normal response, but right now right now we're returning a paginated response, and we have to pass our serializer into the parentheses. So you can see what we did here. What we did here is simple. First and first, we have to import the page number pagination. Very important. And then we have to, and right now we have to declare a class. We have, to, we have to then declare a pagination class for this view alone. We have, we, have to set, we have to set the page size to three because we need three blocks per page, right? So if you need 10 blocks per page, just simply change the number to 10. You understand? It's as simple as that. So what we did now, back to our blog list, then we had to, after you might have gotten all the, all the blogs, we had to then, we had to, we had to then point to what's this pagination class by saying paginator should be equal to blog list pagination. You understand? And then we had to declare another variable called paginated blogs. It can be called whatever name you like. So we called it paginated blogs. Then we had to call this paginator class again. Uh, we have to then paginate the query sets. And then we have to pass the blogs and the requests. And then as for our serializer, we have to then serialize the paginated blogs. And right now we have to return a paginated response. 
not just a normal, not a normal response, but a paginated response. So that's it. Now, if you go back to the browser, so right now you can see we have all the blogs on this on, on the first page. But if I refresh this right away, refresh, you can see right now we only have we only have three blocks per page. You can see we have six blocks in total. This is the link to the next page. And we only and we have three blogs on the first page. If I click so right now, if I click on the next link. Right now we are on the second page. We only have two pages because if you see we are having three blocks per page and we have only six blocks. If I change this to one, if I change this to one now, page size should be one. And I refresh, we are going to have one block per page. And that means we are going to have six pages. It's not meant to throw an error. Refresh the page. So right now we are having, what are we having? Right now we are having one block per page you can see you can keep going keep going right so but currently we want to just have currently we want to have three blocks per page so that's how it does that is how it paginates a rest free mock from a django rest free a django rest api function based view you understand so it's being paginated now so we want three blocks per page for now and I think we are done with this episode. So see you in the next episode. Stay blessed and bye-bye.